I personally love huge, big printed and hand stitched and everything books, RPG books and books in general. They're just awesome. They smell awesome. They feel awesome. But these can be very expensive indeed, especially if you buy a lot of them. But for something like a small adventure like this, with up to 50 pages in small form factor, an A5 form factor for example, you don't need it actually in beautiful hardcover just to read it, just to play it. Something like this does the trick just as well. It's just as readable, just as usable at the table and printing this cost almost no money. Just the paper and a bit of toner for my laser printer. And especially in the last few years shipping has become very expensive. So getting even a small book like this from the US to Europe or from anywhere else in Europe to Germany costs about 10 to 20 euros. And for a book this size this is about as much as you pay for the book itself. So I've been printing uh, quite a bit of these over the last few days and weeks, as you can see. So, if you want printed books that you can use at the table for cheap, if you've got access to a laser printer in your office or just a uh, copy shop somewhere near you, this is a real alternative to printed books. So let me briefly show you how to print this out so you can get started yourself. If that interests you, like and subscribe and let's get started. First you need to get your adventure or the rules you want to print in PDF. Publications for old school essentials are great for this because they usually come in uh, this small format. I think this is US letter format but it's very close to uh, European A5 format and that means with a basic office printer you can print this as a booklet. This is the Blackburn of Brandon's Ford by Chance Dudinek and this is great to print because it's in uh, the small format, it's not too long and when you buy this on drive through you get two versions of the PDF. You get the one with the colored full page cover and you get one with a printer friendly black and white cover and this is the one we are going to print. So 18 pages in total, nothing too special. Let's go on to print and we select booklet, Let's see what it looks like. Can set up your page and the edges, the edges that will not be printed on. I've set all of this to zero. And here under booklet, here you can set how far from the middle the pages shall be print, but for this particular PDF, annoyingly, it only becomes smaller. This was easier when I was printing out Woodfall and was just moved to the side. Well, let's go for zero then, giving us the biggest cover of the pages. And then you hit OK and print. But beware, I've got a printer with automatic double-sided print. If you have a regular old printer, you first have to select the front pages, 
then you have to insert the paper back into the pin printer and print the back pages to do manual double sided print. For this particular printer, the double sided version was like 10 euros more expensive than the just single side print version. So I went with the automatic double sided printing, which is very convenient for a project like this. And in general, you want a laser printer, just a basic black and white laser printer. On the long term, they are way more economical than any color printer, especially inkjet printers. Inkjet printers are just a rip off. You pay enormous amount for the ink cartridges. They will only take original ink cartridges and most of them have inbuilt failing features. So don't buy an inkjet, just buy a laser printer. And I personally can recommend Kyocera. These printers will last you a good long time. And if you need anything in color printed, you can always go to your local copy shop and have them printed out. That's way more economical than having a color printer yourself. Furthermore, you need a long arm stapler such as this to bind together. You could sew this together if you wanted to with a few stitches, but a stapler like this makes it very easy, convenient. Make sure that it is all lined up correctly and that you're stapling exactly in the middle. Folding it, carefully folding it, helps with that. This particular stapler cost me, I think, 14 euros and it can staple together 25 pages easily, which is enough for a 50 page adventure. You can get bigger versions of this with longer staples and your local copy shop should have a staple like this. If you don't like how it's curling up from the heat of the printing, put something flat and heavy on it to flatten it out overnight, like this here pile of unused brochures. And that's it. Your local copy shop or online printing services can print bigger format, can print in color, and can give you different binding options, including hardcover. But in my experience, it's not much cheaper than just buying the printed book itself. So I usually only use this here office printer staple bound version for small booklets. Thanks for watching and until next time.